Hello? Hello, Mrs. Felipe? Yes, how can I help you? Hello, this is Scott from Waste Management. Yes. And um, th- there was a rock in your recycle bin today. You know, just a rock from like outside or something. Uh-huh. And uh, you can't put rocks in the recycle. I don't know if you were like born in a barn or something, but no, we can't put rocks. Excuse me? You can't put rocks in the recycle bin. I don't need to. You know, those cans sit out for 24 hours. Anybody can do whatever they want. Oh, don't blame it on other you people. You have a gardener. Take some responsibility. And I don't need to be condescended by you. I'm sorry I condescended I do you. I not. Just take some responsibility for yourself and just admit that you put the rock in there. I have no idea what recycle bin you're even talking about. Then why are, why are you... Not- why are you blaming it on the gardener? That that's rude. That's really mean. Excuse me. That you're being. Oh, what is your name? You're being an asshole. You're blaming, you know, that your gardener. What is your name? I already told you. My name is Scott. Scott, what is your last Look, name? Look, just stop putting rocks in the recycle bin, and everything will be fine. I cannot believe you. Well, it's, are you calling from uh, the um, recycle or the? Waste management company. Well, they're both the same. I'm on the recy- with the recycle side, though. But look, you just we can't recycle rocks. Don't be dumb. You don't put any more rocks. I cannot in believe. It. I cannot believe you did that. I don't even know what this rock I, looks like. I didn't do it. You're the one that did it. You're the one that put it in there. How would I know that I did that? Do you think that I am that callous? I have no idea. I don't even know you, ma'am. I just know that you're putting rocks in your recycle bin, and that's dumb. So dumb. I am calling your boss. Why? Goodbye. Oh, you, oh, yeah, for enforcing the rules. You're going to get me fired? Hello? Hello, Rodney? Yes. Hey, this is Dave from Waste Management. Yes. And um, there's a small problem with your recycling. Oh, really? Yeah, you're throwing away poor people stuff. And it makes this look like... Excuse me, I, I, mean, I, I want to get this right. Will you start again, please? Okay, you're throwing you're throwing away poor people stuff. You're making the city look like hobos. You're I ma- don't really understand what you're saying. You're making, this, you're making it look like uh, the entire city is, is a bunch of hobos living here. Cause, well, cause, I don't know if this is a joke or what. This doesn't sound like waste management. Well, how, how would you know what we sound like? Have you ever called here? Uh, it's just not a business-sounding... Uh, call so okay. i don't know who you are or what you want well i'm uh, sorry if the trash company not, doesn't I'm sound businessy enough for you yeah i'm not in the market i don't want to buy anything i'm not selling you anything stupid i'm telling you that you need to well, learn I'm how to stupid? recycle well, you you shouldn't be talking to a stupid person you, what oh now i feel bad hello hello mrs fishback yes hey this is dave from waste management uh-huh. And um, we found a, a, like a really expensive ring in your recycle bin. You did? Yeah, and I'm keeping it. Um, well, okay. It, it's mine now. Okay. And also, um, uh, you put a pizza box in the recycle bin, and you can't do that. Because pizza, you know, there's grease on the box. And, you know, okay. it's, it's not recyclable. You got to just throw that in the trash. And, and I don't think we did a. We didn't think we had a pizza box in there. But. Oh well, maybe a neighbor threw it in there because they didn't want to get in trouble. Okay. Yeah, but I I don't know. It seems to happen a lot at your place, so I think it's probably you. You don't have to deny it. Just just stop doing it. Okay, who is this? You don't. Uh, this is Dave from Waste Management. Okay, Dave. That's a really weird conversation. Okay. Well, what was you, the thing about the ring? Oh, forget about that. Never mind. No, mainly it's just the pizza box. Uh, you can't throw pizza boxes in the recycling because it has grease on it. And and that messes up the entire system. Like if they throw your pizza box into their big recycling machine and it has grease on it, that messes up the machine. Yeah, and it okay. Ru- ruins, well, ruins, hey, Dave. Hey, hey Dave, what, what's your number there? It ruins the entire load. And they th- Dave, what's your number there? And we lose more than one pizza box because of that, you know, thanks to you. It's like the entire load has to just be thrown in the trash. Regular trash. Not even recycled. What's your, what's your number there, Dave? Why? What do you need that for? I'm just going to call you back so I can maybe write a letter and apologize. And yeah. No, no. If you can just apologize to me right now over the phone, that'd be perfect. 
but it has to be a sincere apology. She hung up. Hello? Hello, Lois. Oh, it's Karen. Oh, hey, Karen. This is uh, Dave from Waste Management. Yeah. For You know, for your recycling. Yeah. And um, we you you can't put money into the recycle bin. Like, it's not a recyclable material because, like, there's metals. You know, there's that metal strip in your money. And you can't recycle money. What money? Well, there is a bunch of money in your recycle bin. There is? Yeah. What kind of money? Oh, do you know, 20s, $20 bills mostly. What are you talking about? In the recycle bin. Uh, you know, you're, it's just for paper. It's for paper and cardboard. And you put money well, in there. who would put m- money in there? That's what I'm asking. Like, what the hell? I don't understand. No, this doesn't usually happen. Oh, well... <laughs> But um, you're not allowed was to do that. Was that picked up today? Uh, it is earlier this week. I don't know which day we have you scheduled. What today is when the recycling gets picked up. Oh, yeah. Up. It must have been today then. Yeah, that would make sense. Well, how would we get that back? Oh, no. You've recycled it. It's ours now. It, it, actually, it's mine. I'm going to spend it. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll, Bye. I'll, I'll, wh- wh- <laughs> Hello. Hello, is this Mr. K? Yes. Hi, this is uh, Dave from Waste Management. Yes. And uh, I, I was just calling about the trash, uh, you know, the stuff you've been recycling, like your cardboards and stuff. Uh huh. And it seems like you're buying cheap brands of stuff, and it makes us, you know, just cheap brands of everything, you know, like the cheap stuff, like you can't afford the expensive things. And I was wondering if you could just stop, stop. Whoa. <laughs> We're on a don't call list. What? No, I'm not a telemarketer, you dummy. I'm with the waste management here in town. Oh, okay. Because we keep getting all kinds of calls. You say cheap brands? Yeah, yeah. You know, you're just you make us look like a bunch of hobos in this neighborhood when you when you uh, you know just only buy cheap stuff, and that's what I see in your recycle. You're just buying cheap crap, like generic brands from the store. Really? What is your name? My name is Dave from Dave? Waste Management. Dave, what is your last name? Gerbel. And the purpose of your call? Well, I want you to stop acting like a hobo and, and buy real brand names for once, okay? <laughs> Hello. Hello, is this Mrs. Marston? Yes, who is this speaking? This is Scott from Waste Management. Oh, no, I, I'm not interested in that. Thank you. Well, anyway. No, no, we're from your Good trash night. pickup, ma'am. Oh, I see from our trash pickup? Yeah, your recycle bin. And we found a bunch of money in your recycle bin today. You're kidding. No. And I, I just needed to let you know there was money in your recycle bin, so you got to be careful with that and not throw your money in the recycle bin. Well, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't realize who you were, or I wouldn't have said what I did. Oh, anyway, yeah. How much money do I get back? Oh, none. No, uh, we're not allowed to give it back. It's policy. Uh, actually, um, I have to rip it up. Are you are you kidding? No, no, of course not. Well, how much was it? Um, it, I hold on. I'm I'm ri- I'm ripping it up right now. Uh, look, there's 20 40 60 80 100 110. There we go. Okay, yeah. It looks like about $300. You're kidding. Yeah. And what was it in an envelope? Um, yeah, and it said uh, it said it uh, had it was an envelope, and it said um, it belongs to Alice. That's not you, is it? Yes, it is. Oh no, maybe I shouldn't have ripped it up. Oh, well, are you kidding? Who are you? Who are you speaking about? Are you really serious? No, I was just kidding about that part. No, there was no money. Uh, no, what I'm calling is because you keep putting things in your recycle bin that are like generic brand names with boxes and stuff and oh, uh-huh. it, it makes uh-huh. us it makes us look like hobos you know the whole neighborhood looks like hobos if you if you have cheap brand name stuff you know no brand names you know well, wait, just, what do you mean like uh things that i've purchased that are in boxes yeah yeah just you know spring a little bit extra for the for the real brands instead of you know like walmart brand and stuff like that because oh my gosh are you a hobo or something only a hobo would would buy generic cookies and stuff. 
Oh no, I don't. I don't do things like that. I don't. I don't buy cookies anyway. Well, yeah, but you know, I'm just saying. For example, you know, just stop buying hobo stuff from the grocery store. You know, you're buying all. These, I, I, you're buying I all. Don't the, buy hobo, hobo stuff ever. Oh no! What all is the, your name? No, we sh- we can. You don't have to lie or anything. We can tell from your recycle bin that you buy all these all this hobo merchandise, and it makes well, the. What, what do you? Makes, what are you calling about? It makes the neighborhood look bad. That's why I'm, that's why I'm calling because you're, you're buying too much hobo stuff, and I'm required by a city ordinance to let you know about this. And what what is? Why did you uh, tell me about uh, money that I had put in when I didn't do it? Oh, I was just trying to lighten the mood, you know, because you were so rude at me at first, and I thought a joke would kind of, you know, just lighten the the mood. Well, you know why I, I was rude. Do you want to know why? No, not really. It sounds like a boring story. Please don't tell it. The point is that people call all the time and try to sell you something. Oh, practically yeah. Practically three or four times a day. You, you know how many and, times uh, people call me and try and sell me things? Like zero times per year because I have a cell phone like the rest of America? I mean, what the hell? Uh-huh. Why do you have a well, home I don't, phone? I don't have a cell phone. Well, get a cell and phone I, and I, it'll I, stop. I mean, like, why, why are you going to... Why, why are you telling me all this stuff? Well, why are you going to complain about telemarketers if you have a home phone? That's all they can call is home phones. If you get rid of your home phone, no more telemarketers. Well, I don't it's, believe in tele, telemarketers. I don't believe in them. I would never buy anything over the phone anyway. Yeah, but they won't bother you so, if you get a cell phone. Well, uh, thanks for the tip. Okay. And, and stop buying so much hobo shit. Please. I, I still don't know what hobo shit is. You know, just, you know, you're buying generic brands. And we, we don't even recycle that stuff here. We, we're we not allowed to because it's... A generic brand is... Name one. What is a generic brand? You know, like if you go to Walmart and you get like the Walmart stuff. I never go... I never, I never shop at Walmart. Yeah, but you, you always buy the generic stuff. Like you don't buy name brand. Like you don't buy uh, Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. You buy generic I, I shop corn at, flakes. I, I shop at... I shop at uh, Trader Joe's, okay. and I only buy their their uh, things. Yeah, you're buying so I don't, Trader I don't Joe's buy generic brands. brands. Trader, uh, what, what are you talking about? You're come on, stop acting like you're a hobo, and, and buy the real stuff. What would be real? You know, like name brand spaghetti sauce. Name, I don't. I don't eat spaghetti. Name I, brands. I eat spaghetti. I'm just giving you an example. God. I don't think we better talk anymore. You you don't sound real to me. Goodbye. Well, no, you're just getting on my nerves, ma'am. You're getting on Pardon my, me? You're getting on my nerves. 